good. This is called Having Been Her. I wrote it probably in, in the mid-70s, and um, it refers to a very, very long time ago. On the bus from Newark to New York, the baby pukes into the fox collar of her only coat. She wipes the collar and the baby's soft face, then takes her toddler by the hand and heads for the subway, where the toddler sleeps at her knee and she herself stares out the window over the head of the sleeping baby. She is 27 and very tired. Let me always support her, having been her, befriend her. So that's why I take on the, the responsibility of mentoring young women and, and um, being available to, for, to represent women. And I hope I can do that for a few more years at least. <laughs> well, you're doing quite a bit. You, you teach at the 92nd Street Y, mm -hmm. a, a memoir class. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I teach writing for children to graduate students at the new school. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm advising a couple of students this semester, one of whom is in the writing for children aspect of the program. The other is in nonfiction. Huh. Um, so um, it's interesting. And then um, there are lots of a uh, whole generation of young women who are um, the friends of my daughters. Mm -hmm. And I like mothering them as well. <laughs> I like that. That's a good thing. At least being a role model. Mm -hmm. You know, up until I was, oh, I don't know, up until maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I had never met a woman older than I who. Um, whose life I could see myself in. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I'm fortunate to know Marie Ponceau, mm -hmm. who's just been 90. Mm -hmm. And I know another Marie who's 91. So I, 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 you know, I take inspiration from those people as well. So, that's... so sounds like a good chain of uh, <laughs> yeah. inspiring women. Yeah, yeah, and it's something to pass along. And, as I said, I have a granddaughter now, so, yeah. <laughs> well, Hetty, thank you so much.